Hi, I'm Diane Sayre, and I am the LaRouche Democrat running for Congress in the 5th Congressional District of New Jersey. I'm standing here on Wall Street in front of the House of Morgan. As people have heard, Morgan Chase recently announced a, what Jamie Dimon called the little mistake of losing about $2 billion. And if you believe that $2 billion is the extent of their losses, then I will sell you the Brooklyn Bridge for 50 cents. What we are witnessing is the blowout of the entire transatlantic financial system, exactly as Lyndon LaRouche warned in July of 2007. He said then that it was not a mortgage crisis, it was not a foreclosure crisis, it was a blowout of the entire transatlantic banking system. And as you recall, what the Bush administration did with Hank Paulson was to say that if we didn't do the first bailout, that the U.S. could be put under martial law. So with Obama and the U.S. Senate threatening his colleagues, we rammed through the first $700 billion TARP program. Then we rammed through the second $700 billion TARP program. We're now at $29 trillion of bailouts. Millions of families have been foreclosed upon. Millions of Americans are unemployed. We're facing a blowout of the euro. Greece can form no government. And what's likely to happen in the U.S. is that this collapse of J.P. Morgan Chase actually could trigger a detonation of the entire derivatives bubble. They were able to do this because in 1999 the Glass-Steagall Act of Franklin Roosevelt was foolishly repealed. I, as a congressional candidate, have been traveling to New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania demanding the reinstatement of FDR's Glass-Steagall Act. A lot of people, like Barney Frank, said oh no, Glass-Steagall wouldn't have prevented this. Well, the way J.P. Morgan was able to do this was that because there's no Glass-Steagall, they were able to use the deposits in their commercial banking sector as the collateral leveraging God knows how many times to uh, create this gigantic bubble of which they're admitting to $2 billion in losses. What we face now is potentially a catastrophic blowout food shortages, a total stop to the economy, or we can do what Lyndon LaRouche has been calling for, which is to reinstate Glass-Steagall. To do this would require the removal of Barack Obama from the presidency. Obama threatened to veto Glass-Steagall if it were to pass in the Senate last year. Obama is right now putting us on a trajectory toward thermonuclear war with Russia, with his insane policies. And I think because of Putin's courageous move in snubbing Obama and refusing to attend the G8 summit, uh, what you now have are other breaks, not just the calls for returning to Glass-Steagall, not just the J.P. Morgan scandal, but another scandal emerging in the southwestern part of the United States around drug money laundering. It's reported that Obama laundered $300 million in drug money with his 2008 campaign. You now have a, an individual, John Cruz, which HSBC, who has collected over 1,000 pages of data, uh, 20 hours of recorded audio tapes documenting the money laundering role in that case. So what you see here with the blowout of J.P. Morgan Chase is not just the vindication of myself, my associates who are running for Congress, and Lyndon LaRouche, but you see a turning point where it could very well be the case that Obama is out of the White House before the November elections. If that were to happen, then people could be spared the shame and agony of trying to make a shameful choice between Obama and Mitt Romney, who are virtually identical, and we could launch a real recovery, launching the construction of the North American Water and Power Alliance, a return to the space program, which can be done with a reinstatement of the Glass-Steagall Act and a return to Hamiltonian banking.